The artist is Adam Neat, and the show is called Dimensionalism, which is Adam's own language that he's developed over eight, nine years of working. What's exciting for people coming to the exhibition is Adam Neat is not like anybody else. He's got his own voice, his own language of painting. He's a complete one-off. In some ways I want to get back to painting again, the physicality of painting, where the dimensional materialism way of thinking and painting and the work, it could have gone anywhere. I could have continued adding materials, chrome or perspex or whatever came along. It, it was, it, there was no boundaries to it. I will go back to using paint, but how can I use it where the paint is in control within the, the, the piece. You're relying on the paint again, so you've got, to, you've got to work out what you're going to paint with that and how it's, the aesthetic is going to be. With the, the language of dimensionalism, there's so many combinations with what you can add to it. It's overwhelming in some ways. Well, I could go down this route and be, be completely expressionist with my dimensionalism or I could be very kind of straight-edged and futuristic. You can overlap isms within dimensionalism. You could have from one angle an expressionist figure or someone fighting as you move around the painting the form changes where it becomes more abstract or abstract futurist. Because of the numerous vantage points as you move around the piece you can use that to your advantage as the artist changing that if you do so wish or not. Adam's got a really broad fan base with a feverish following all around the world. He's got work in some of the biggest collections in the world, and yet we can have an online release of one of his dimensional editions and it can sell out within an hour. The best part of working with Adam, he'll ring and say he's finished a painting. And I go to his studio and whatever he's said about it is ten times better and it's the most exciting work I've seen, working with artists for 30 years. Every time I go to the studio, there's something new there, something fresh, something to really make me as a collector, really, rather than a dealer, want to have that painting. Well, I think it's, yet yeah, again, it's another um, advancement in Adam's skills, both technically and visually. With figurative work, especially when you're minimalising things, taking things away rather than adding them, it's a discipline to be a master of simplicity. And you can't cheat like you can with abstract work. It's a lot harder. I think my favourite piece is the chess players. There's a whole day of activity. Within, caught within a picture, and the more you look, the more you see. Just taking it forward, 3D, in a really interesting way. Working with Paul and Fiona at the gallery, I mean, it's been an unbelievable experience, really, and it still is each time we do work together. We like to just try new things and just get a buzz out of doing stuff differently, you know. If people are doing this, we'll, we'll do something else different. If this is the style, we'll, we'll do that. And it's like, we go the opposite way or do our, make our own path, really, with regard to um, everything. She's got this inner thing where it comes from within, here to the canvas or board or whatever he's working on, and you get that real feeling coming back to you that makes his painting special. It, it begins at uh, the beginning and goes on to the end. <laughs> <laughs>